Mitridate, King of Petra. Welcome, Mitridate. Welcome, Petra. Costobacus, King of the Omnia. Greetings, Costobacus, King of the Omnia. Severus, Proconsul of Judea. Africa. Welcome. Virgilian as proconsul of Syria. Marcellus, governor of Egypt, I think. Marcellus, friend of Caesar. And who would this be, Demonides? Virgilianus, proconsul of Syria. My grateful thanks, Demonides. Virgilianus, friend of Caesar. Welcome. Pericles, proconsul of Athens. Pericles of Athens. is honored, Sir Hamas, that Armenia's king is with us. My Lord Caesar, Armenia hopes only for even closer ties to Rome. Welcome, Britannia. Princes, you have come from the deserts of Egypt, from the mountains of Armenia, from the forests of Gaul and the prairies of Spain. You do not resemble each other, nor do you wear the same clothes, nor sing the same songs, nor worship the same gods. Yet, like a mighty tree with green leaves, and black roots, you are the unity which is Rome. 
Look about you and look at yourselves. And see the greatness of Rome. Two hundred years ago, the Gauls were our fiercest enemies. Now we greet them as friends. In the whole world, only two small frontiers are still hostile to us. One here in the north, which separates us from those who are called barbarians, the other in the east, Persia. Only on these two borders will you find walls, palisades, forts, and hatred. But these are not the frontiers Rome wants. Rome wants and needs human frontiers. We've had to fight long wars. Your burdens have been great. But we come now to the end of the road. Here, within our reach, golden centuries of peace. A true Pax Romana. Wherever you live, whatever the color of your skin, when peace is achieved, it will bring to all, all, the supreme right of Roman citizenship. My Lord Caesar, are you ill? A small pain in my side, it'll pass. No longer provinces or colonies, but Rome. Rome everywhere. A family of equal nations. That is what lies ahead. May the gods hasten the day. <laughs>